Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something to me on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio, Tales of a New Dawn, Ty's Path. So anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right. I successfully kept Kyrex at a distance. It was probably for the best. Who knows what he'd have pulled otherwise. All the same, if I wanted to keep going to the gym, I'd almost certainly run into him again sooner or later. If I didn't want to run into him again, I should probably avoid that gym for a while. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Alrighty. Woo. I had arranged with Axel and Dom to go exploring the woods. After all, Axel had suggested it back on the train, and I had been somewhat curious. The three of us met on a walking path going a long way around the river and had ventured into the forest from there. It was a nice day out, a bit with a gentle chill in the air. We've been wandering deeper into the woods for several minutes now, chattering amongst ourselves the entire way. This looks like- this looks as good a spot as any. Uh, for what? I brought snacks. Dom laid a small bag he'd been carrying on the ground and began to unload its contents. There were sandwiches within, as well as a pack of potato chips and some dip. Here you are, Hunter. This one's yours. I took the sandwich from Dom and inspected it. It looked like orange eggs. Sensing my confusion, Axel took the opportunity to pipe up. It's curried egg. They're delicious, I promise. I see. Thank you, Dom. I wasn't expecting this. It's no problem. I always bring lunch when we're out here. We could be going quite a way, so we'll need our energy. Besides, Axel can't really cook. Hey! It can too. Just not very well. Tom merely chuckled in response before passing Axel a sandwich and offering him a bag of potato chips. Axel immediately perked right up once he had a sandwich in his hands. I took my first bite from the sandwich. Axel was right, it was delicious. Wow, did you make these from scratch? Well, I didn't lay the eggs, but yeah. Man, it's nice to eat something healthy for a change. Every time Diego cooks something, I have to put a napkin under it to collect all the grease. You'd best be careful unless you want a belly like his. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, Dom! Hmm? Any luck with those properties I sent you? Uh, nothing yet. I'm hoping to hear back from the agency later this week. I know they're quite busy at the moment. Oh, are you house hunting? Yep. We're hoping to find somewhere we can move in together. Then I can have delicious curried egg sandwiches every day. Well, I don't know about every day, but yeah. We're hoping to sort of consolidate, keep our costs down and all that. We're practically glued at the hip these days anyway, so why not? Maybe not glued. It was fun watching Axel get so flustered so easily. Fun and perhaps a little cute, too. Before long, the three of us had finished our sandwiches and half the pet and half the potato chips between us, having packed away the remainder for later. We had wandered a little farther into the woods, purposefully going in whatever direction looked the least, dis least disturbed and using the GPS and compasses on our phones to prevent us from getting lost. Interestingly, we still had a strong cell reception all the way out here. Perks of building cell towers on the mountains, on, on mountains, one would guess. Hey, guys, what's that over there? Hmm, I don't see anything. I looked over in the direction Axel was pointing, and from where I was standing, I could see something out of place. That being said, I couldn't see exactly what it was. I think I see something. Uh, should we investigate? By all means, lead on. Having ventured closer, we saw what looked like an old abandoned building covered in tangled overgrowth. It looked as if it hadn't been occupied for very long, and it was missing its roof shingles, battered window hatches, and dilapidated brickwork. It's a house? Seems to be. Dom approached the building with us with us both in tow. He did a circuit of the building, inspecting it for a point of entry. It's certainly weathered. There's no holes or anything we can get into, though. Dom then made his way to the front door. Axel and I stood back with bated breath as, we, as he tried as he tried the handle. Hmm. Locked tight, I'm afraid. He then followed up followed up his statement by giving the door a swift kick. It didn't even budge slightly. Looks like this one is a loss, I'm afraid. The door is surprisingly sturdy despite how it looks. Oh no. It's all right. We can always come back with tools to see if we can get the door loose. I sure hope nobody lives here. Th that's that's a little scary. Should we really do something like that? I'm not opposed. I guess it's up to Hunter. Uh, and, and, uh, I don't care either way. Yeah, let's go back with two wolves. Yeah, now we're talking. Let's me, let me make a note of its position on my map. What if we find a dead body or something? <laughs> I'm sure that won't happen, Axel. Take a nail. Coffee time. Mm. It is my partner's birthday today, and they're making breakfast for us, so mm, it's going to be a nice day. We're going to watch Evil Dead Rise later. It's going to be great. Anyway. And besides, if it did, we'd have our very own little murder mystery to investigate. No, I don't want to. 
Dom continued to wind Axel up for the next few minutes before we decided to head back. Thanks for coming with us, Hunter. It was fun. Indeed it was. Your company was very welcome. I hope you'll, can, I hope you'll come with us again sometime. I had a good time. I'll definitely come again, even if only for more of those sandwiches. I am happy to hear you like them so much. The three of us said our goodbyes before splitting up and heading back to our respective houses. I had arrived at Ty's bar a few minutes shy of 5 p.m. I've been home to freshen up in the interim. Diego had already left by that point. Look who it is! You made it! What? Did you think I was kidding or something earlier? Nah, I just figured you'd be late or something. What's the term? Pot calling the kettle black or something? Ah, oh, shush. I'm gonna go fetch Ty. You wait here. Okay. I took a seat at one of the bar stools I had, uh, as, I ha as I had done the day before and waited. I had barely even sat down by the time Ty entered the room. Hunter! Wonderful that you could make it. Evening, Ty. Thank you for helping me out today. It is greatly appreciated. No problem at all. Follow me. I have a uniform for you to wear. I had changed into the clothing Ty had provided for me. It was a good fit, and I hadn't even provided and I hadn't even provided Ty with my sizes. Okay, I have Diego on kitchen duty this evening. He's all alone out there, but I think he is ready. Oh, I didn't realize he was that good of a cook. He was not. He was not before. But I have been training him up for this very for this very situation. I see. So where does that leave us? You and I will be out front here. I will handle serving, and the bar you will be on, you will be on, and you will be on the till taking orders and payments. Do you have experience with that sort of thing? Have you used our point of sale before? I took a glance at the screen in front of me. As luck would have it, the point of sale was a software developed by the company I used to work for before arriving in Woodcrest. While my job was just paperwork, I still had a good level of familiarity with the suite. I pass this information on to Ty. Life is just full of wonderful coincidences, is it not? Well then, I will leave the point of sale to you. If you run into any issues, just let me know. I will be here. Anytime you receive an order for food, stick it in the box on the kitchen window for Diego. If you receive an order for alcohol, use a magnet to attach it to the board behind us. And that really is the gist of it. Common sense applies. Smile. Be courteous. All of that. Any questions? Not particularly. This is easier than I expected it would be. Being the cashier usually is. The hardest part is getting your head around the point of sale, usually. You have a significant advantage in that regard. Also, I try to train all of my staff on every station for flexibility. This is the easiest of the bunch, so I can assure you there will be plenty of challenges ahead. Well, so much for training. Looks like I'm all ready to go. Unexpected, but most appreciated. Things will be slow for the next little while, but we'll pick up, on, we'll pick up a little later on. How about you make a start and get some practice in before the busy period starts? Now, let's do this! A little over an hour had passed as Ty had predicted the workload had picked up uh, picked up noticeably. Thankfully, everything went quite smoothly, and the point of sale worked exactly as I'd expected it to. I was taking an order every few minutes, some for the bar, but most for the kitchen. Diego's pile of tickets was growing steadily, and I began to worry if he was keeping up with the load. Ty, on the other hand, was clearly a master server and bartender. He was zipping around at a breakneck pace, preparing drinks, serving tables, and keeping completely calm all the while. It was wonderful to be working with someone that dedicated that dedicated and experienced. I found a brief opportunity with no customers queued up, which I took to check on things in the kitchen. So you know, it's coffee time. Hmm. Good coffee. I think that's a Guatemalan roast. What I found was Diego, much like Ty, rushing around like a madman. He had several pans frying different things, half of his ovens all working in tandem, a number of deep fryers all crackling away. As he moved back and forth, I noticed he was panting as he went. I can only hope you not drool all over the food. I thought it best not to disturb his focus, so I returned to my post. <coughs> finally, when we, finally we'd reached the end of the end of dinner hours and stopped and stopped taking new orders. Thankfully, toward the end of things, it slowed, and we didn't need any extra time to catch up. How about that? You did a splendid job. Are you kidding? I was the only I was the only I was only the cashier. You and Diego had the real work. You could say that again. I'm beat. I apologize. I had not anticipated several people would call in sick today. Diego, I must say you exceeded my expectations. For the most part, everything came out looking fantastic and with minimal errors. Thank you for stepping up today. What can I say? I'm pretty good. Diego merely grumbled in response. He wasn't having. He wasn't having. He wasn't having a bar of it. <laughs> you certainly are. And Hunter, thank you so much for coming in to help today. I do not think I could have opened. I could have opened if you had not. You really saved my skin. It's no problem. I assure you, not every day is like this. This was a most unusual set of circumstances. I hope you will not think poorly of my offer as a consequence. 
Of course not. Like I said, I was just a cashier. I've had far worse. Very good. On that topic, are you happy to work for me on a casual basis going forward? There will certainly be work available, but not every day. Why not? Sounds good to me. I am very glad to hear that. Now, I did promise you both a free meal. Diego's ears suddenly picked up. But in celebration of both your wonderful work tonight, and Hunter as an addition to our team, why not order as much as you like? As much as we like? As starters, entrees, desserts, you name it. Including drinks? Well, I suppose that would not be an issue. Just take it easy, okay? Hell yeah! Diego, if nothing else, was woefully predictable. We were mentioned of an all-you-can-eat dinner and all of his troubles would just disappear. The two of us had seated ourselves at a table and were browsing the menus. We ordered a platter to start us off with sample sizes of almost every starter on the menu. Diego had ordered a double shot whiskey and cola. I'd ordered another of Ty's famous pina coladas. As for our entree, Diego knew, that, knew what he wanted straight away and put in an order for a chicken parmigiana. As for my own order, Diego had sworn by the parmesan and Ty had recommended the chicken phyllo. That's a weird noise. But I admit, I also had my eye on the beef and chorizo chili nachos. I had no idea which of the three I should pick. No Ty suggestion. A truly wonderful choice. I promise you will not regret it. A chicken phyllo is pretty nice, too. I'm all about the parmesan, though. I'm all about the parmesan, though. Ty made note of our orders and returned to the kitchen to prepare our meals. It wasn't long before Ty returned with our meals. They looked absolutely delicious. Ty was clearly as good a chef as he was a bartender. He had also brought us another set of drinks, even though ours weren't finished yet. Wow, boss, awfully generous when it's on your tab. I am trying to thank you, boys. What kind of thanks would it be if I held out on you, hmm? I mean, fair, but... I think what Diego is trying to say is thank you, Ty. That would be my line in these circumstances. Now, I hope you boys would not mind if I ate with you. I've prepared a little something for myself as well. Of course not, we'd be honored. Wonderful. Just one moment, please. Ty made his way around the bar, scouting for any additional patrons. Having found none, he locked the front doors and set the sign to closed. I checked my watch. It was only 10.30pm. I suppose it being a Wednesday meant the bar wouldn't be open as late as it would be on other days. Ty then returned, having tossed his vest on the bar counter and placed his own plate of chicken phyllo on the table. He then pulled out a chair beside us and sat down. Thank y'all. Coffee time. Hmm. Good. Gorsh, that's some great coffee. Yeah, that's some great coffee, Mickey. Hey, boss. Hmm? Not having a drink yourself? I wanted to play it safe, just in case either of you boys needed a sober driver. Oh, well, that's that's real thoughtful of you, boss. Diego raised his glass with a grin and chugged what remained, his second glass sitting at the ready. This action caused Ty to raise his brow somewhat. That boy sure loves to drink. Hey, I ain't, I ain't no drunk. Of course not. Uh, really? Hey! <laughs> Following our meals and several more drinks for Diego, Ty gave us both a lift home. Ty's up cooking is really something, huh? That it is. I'm gonna head to bed. I'm feeling a little woozy. Alright, I'll catch you tomorrow then. Night! Day 5. Lion Love? That's his name? Lion Love? I decided to pay Lucas a visit in order to accept his job offer. With Ty's work being sporadic, it made sense to me to have multiple jobs on the go. Couldn't say I minded the variety, either. And without saying that I was a little nervous. Lucas was a little scary and hardly the welcoming sort. If it weren't for Dom's insistence that he wasn't so bad, I'd have... I had doubt I'd have come. So, you're taking me up on my offer, then? That's right, I'm filling in for Ty as well. So it can't be every, be every day, but I'm happy to be on call. That's fine. On call is what we know is what I need. So you can start today. So soon? I've got a stage that needs building and nothing but a fox and a lousy rat to build it. I guess that isn't a problem. I didn't have any other plans today. Good. I'd introduce you to our team for the day, but Dom, you already know. And Eric? Well, you'll know him soon enough. That sounds vaguely ominous. It is. I hadn't counted on Lucas needing help on that very day, which was contrary to what he suggested when we had first met. I can only assume someone called off. Clearly an all-too-common problem in these parts. Not that I was likely to find out from Lucas himself, saying he was tight-lipped would be a gross understatement. Lucas had instructed me to wait in the communal area with the rest of today's team while he got himself organized. Alas, it was only myself and Dom here. No sign of this Eric anywhere. Alright y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks, or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye